Hey. Hey. Aren't you turning 16 soon? Yeah. I'm so excited. So are your parents going to get you a car or something? They said they would, if I help pay for the insurance. That's so cool. Are you going to do it then? Well, I'm not sure. Honestly, I don't know the first thing about insurance. You don't? Well, I can explain it if you want. Yeah, that would be a huge help. Car insurance protects you from paying for the full cost of damages from a crash or other incident with your car. In most states, you have to have a minimum level of insurance before you are allowed to drive. So what is the minimum? Usually, you will need liability insurance at the very least. This will pay for damage you cause to another person and their property in an accident. What about damage to me and my car? You will need collision insurance to cover the costs of your own car repairs or medical bills from the accident. What if something happens to my car other than a crash? That would be covered by comprehensive insurance. Full coverage includes liability, collision, and comprehensive insurance. Okay, cool. Do you know how much it costs? That depends on how much coverage you want. There are two kinds of insurance payments, premiums and deductibles. You pay the premium each month in exchange for coverage. The deductible is the amount you have to pay for any damages before your insurance will cover the rest. If you want a lower premium, you will have a higher deductible. Okay, I get it. Are there any other kinds of insurance I need? Not for driving a car, but you will need some other kinds of insurance in the future. Can you tell me about them? Sure. Health insurance covers the cost of medical treatments. You don't need it right now, because your parents probably have an insurance plan that covers you. In the future, you will get it through your job or another provider. When you move into your own house or apartment, you might want to get homeowner's or renter's insurance. This will cover some types of damage to your home, like from weather or theft. Another type of insurance is life insurance, which you probably won't need until you have children or other people who depend on your income. It will provide them with money to support themselves and pay for any expenses if something happens to you. There is no deductible, but you will still have to pay a premium. Wow, that's a lot of insurance. But I guess it's better than having to pay tons of money if something bad happens. Exactly. The purpose of paying for insurance is to protect yourself from even bigger expenses in the future. So now that you understand insurance, do you think you will get the car? Yeah, I think so. I guess I should get used to dealing with insurance since I might be using it a lot more in the future. Thanks for your help. No problem. To learn more about managing your personal finances, visit www.financialconnects.org.